<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be going over the items that I got in my November Beauty Box from Medusa's Makeup. Now this is a cruelty-free vegan uh, makeup line, so I really like the stuff that they have now. Given a lot of their stuff is more for the people who are not afraid of colors. Um, I will definitely tell you that off the get-go. Um, but so this month, uh, the, the beauty box. Now, every month it is fifteen ninety-five a month, uh, and you get anywhere from three to five uh, full-size items. And like I said, all of it's cruelty-free, vegan-free, or not vegan-free, but cruelty-free and vegan. Uh, so this month, now we got something that was actually not through Medusa. Uh, this is like a special guest is what they're saying. This is called, um, the brand is called Spa Life. And this is an energizing natural extract paraben and sulfate free uh, grapefruit facial mask. Um, so I am very excited to try this. Uh, it looks very interesting. And again, this company is cruelty free um so that's really nice if you're looking into uh, wanting to find more companies that are cruelty free uh especially if you use face mask like i do um this is something that you can look at um so i'm going to definitely try this uh sundays are my spa days for the most part where i do my face mask and uh, hair mask and all of that stuff to try and kind of I guess recoup from the week of lots of makeup so now I have gone ahead I've put my foundation on and I have contoured sorry I didn't put foundation on I'm lying um, I wanted to try Jay Kiss's technique of not using foundation and only using concealer for like under the eyes for brightening and stuff like that. Um, and I was actually very impressed with how it looks so far. Uh, now given it's only the only thing I've put on which is just something that I'm testing out to see how I like it and so far uh, it really has held up. I've had this on now given I tend to sleep a lot during the day so I think I got up today around uh, so I probably got up around 11 30 12 o'clock today and I uh, went ahead and did my makeup then so as of right now now given because I didn't really set anything I didn't put on like a setting spray or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in real quick just so you can see um, now luckily I don't have a lot of issues with my skin in general I do have a, a red undertone to me though um, so that definitely kind of shows through especially if I'm not wearing foundation um, now I am a little bit on the shiny side which I will go ahead and I will take care of that in a moment whenever I get ready to start putting on everything but like I said as of right now I, um, I just only put it under my eyes um, for to help with brightening up there uh, so everything looks really good just with that um, going forward so I am going to definitely try that technique a little more often and that may kind of help out my skin a little bit with um, not putting so much stuff on it all the time so let's go ahead and we will jump back over to the uh, beauty box since I started rambling there so the second item that I got in the box, oh, which I forgot to say, uh, the grapefruit mask, that is $3.50. Um, now the second thing I got in there was eye dust called Karma Chameleon. Um, and this is $10 for this little item here, which I'm going to kind of look at it because I'm trying to see if it's actually it almost looks like glitter but then it doesn't so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of this out here on the lid so we can kind of look at what it looks like um see if that will there we go I don't know if you can really see it or not it's very 
sparkly. Let me kind of do a swatch on my hand here of this. If I can. Okay, so this is definitely a glitter. Um, now that I look at it, uh, just trying to swatch it on my hand did not do anything, but just put some glitter there. But you can kind of see just on the finger there the kind of color that it is. It looks like it has um, brown undertone, like a reddish brown undertone with some uh, iridescent looking glitter in it. Uh, which is probably the good thing that they, for the second item that we got, was the Fix Glitter Adhesive. Now this is $9 for this. Um, so I'm definitely going to try out putting this on my eyes today so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this. And now... Pretty much all I did with my eyes was um, kind of put some color in the crease there just to give it a little bit of definition and that was it. So we're going to put this glitter adhesive on the lid and then we're going to go back with that eye dust there and we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to use this Royal and Lang Nickel BX80 brush here. We're just going to pick some of that up real quick and we're going to see what that looks like. And I'm just doing a little tapping motion. All right. And this is what that color looks like. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here real quick so you can kind of get a look at that. Like I said, it's kind of a brownish red undertone with some iridescent glitter in it. We'll go ahead and do the other eye here real quick. And again, we're just tapping that on. You don't want to smear it with that, glee, uh, that glitter adhesive underneath. It's definitely got some sparkle to it. I do like this eye dust a lot. It's the first time I've actually tried it out because I didn't have any glue adhesive before or glitter adhesive before to try it. So I have some other eye dust that I have gotten previously in the month bags. So I'm definitely going to have to try them out later on and see how well they turn out because this color does kind of go very nicely with it. Now of course I look like I had a fairy puke all over me because I am covered in glitter but that's okay. Um, and let's see here so this month there was only four items uh, but again not too bad because the fourth item in the box was the blush sex on the peach um, and this is a loose mineral blush and this retails for $12. So the total of the um, beauty box is $34.50, which definitely is like twice what you have paid for the box itself. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one open here. Oh, I am already getting blush all over me. All right, so, and this is what the color looks like which it is a very bright color but thinking with a light hand it will work out okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Luxie 514 blush brush here and we're going to see what that color looks like Let me tap some of that off because that like I said looks very pigmented I don't know if I would so much call this peach as it is pink. It is definitely a pink color. A little brighter than what 
I would normally wear. Maybe I can tone that down some with my powder here because that, that is some color right there. I was not expecting that and I barely put any on my brush at all. So this is definitely going to last me a lifetime with as much that is in this product and as little as it re is required to and I used a very light hand so um <clears throat> let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and use my Luxie 660 precision foundation brush now I use this as a highlighter I'm going to be using my vintage rose gold highlight I figured that will go Quite well with this hot pink blush that I have on now. All right. Now another item new that I'm trying out is this uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Kit. Mine is in the 750A Caramel Toffee. Uh, Kathleen Lights raves about how great this is for being such a low cost. So seeing how that works out and using that's what I used as my contour so and I'm just gonna use my Rimmel stay matte uh, pressed powder to try and get some of the shine off and kind of tone down that blush a little bit maybe if I'm lucky all right and I'm going to go ahead and use the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray that I got in my BoxyTron this month. Um, the first time I used it, I did not know that you need to shake it up because I did not know that there was glitter inside of this. Uh, luckily, I didn't get like globs of glitter sprayed all over my face, um, but I did watch Kathleen Light's video when she did her unboxing and she talked about how you have to shake it um, so that's definitely good info to know see if I would have read the instructions it does say shake before use Now, the one thing about this setting spray, what causes it to be illuminating is because of the glitters that are in it. They're not horribly noticeable right off the bat, but if you do like really look into it, you can see them. Um, but that is this month's uh, November Beauty Box from Medusa's Makeup. So I will be putting the information for this um, in the description box down below. So if you are interested in signing up for it. So this is something you can definitely look into. They do have quite a large range of items that you can choose from. But again, like I said, uh, you definitely can't be afraid of color because a lot of their stuff is very bright vibrant as you can tell with the blush luckily i was able to tone that down just a little bit there um after putting it on because i was not expecting it to be so bright but i uh, thank you again for watching if you have not already um please subscribe to my channel if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified that the next time i upload you have a great day.